<clears throat> All right, booktube. Hey, um, I said I'd get it done, and I got some time, so I'm gonna get it done, and then I'm gonna cook dinner for everybody. <clears throat> um, so Hatchet, um, Hatchet by Gary Paulson, right? Yeah, I think that's right. I can't really see it on my glasses. On. Um, I guess it's, I'll try to put a picture somewhere. Um, I guess it is a children's book, um, or like, uh, a, a YA book before YA was YA. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, the theme, not the theme, there is a, <clears throat> there is a continual thread that goes through the book that I think is a little too mature for um, younger readers. Um, and that just might be me being a fuddy-duddy. But, um, so basically, um, the story is, um, and I don't think this will give too much away, really, but um, the story is this kid who lives in New York with his mom is going to see his dad for the first time since the divorce. And his dad is working in an oil field in Canada. And so he has to get in like a bush plane and fly over there. <clears throat> um, something happens, the plane goes down and um, this kid who his name's Brian, he's like 13, has to survive um, for maybe forever um, on his own. And all he has is this hatchet that his mom gave him right before he left because she knew that he was going to go camping with his dad or something like that. Now, the reason why um, they split up um is because the mom cheated on the dad. And the kid caught the mom cheating on the dad. And as that thread keeps unraveling, it turns out that um, it's a secret and the dad still doesn't know about it. So that's like the only spoilery thing I'm going to give you. And I think that the reason why it's written like that is because what I didn't know about this book is that there's like five fucking books in the series. It's called Brian's Saga, I think. Or at least that's how it says it on Goodreads. Um, so I'm totally going to... Re swallow those books up, read them, swallow them, whatever, um, immediately, because I really enjoyed this. Now, um, did I enjoy this because it was about, um, a little kid from a broken family doing some shit in the woods? No, I liked it because from... Most books I've read that are either dystopian or post-apocalyptic or um, something where you're in a situation where you need to survive, this book is, like, really good. It's fucking, like, textbook shit. And I really recommend anyone read this book who is curious about survival skills and what they would need to do um in a situation like that because like seriously <clears throat> um the kid doesn't know anything he's a city kid who doesn't know shit but he'll go okay uh let me see here um i remember in science class we talked about something oh here's a good example he wants to catch fish okay and he is trying to catch him by spearing him. So he's standing on a rock or in the water or whatever. And the fish come by and he goes to stab him and he keeps missing it. And he doesn't understand why. And he's all frustrated. And then he has the little spear he made in the water. 
and it looks like it's broken. And he's like, oh my gosh, that's right. I remember we learned about how water refracts light. So um, I'll aim just a little bit below the fish now. And so he aims below the fish and he catches the fish. So like little things like that, like how, um, like the thought process of how someone would go through something to survive that one situation. It's written really well in that respect. Um, there's like whenever the story leaves the survival situation, I think it's really heavy. And especially for kids, like that is fucking heavy stuff. And I don't know if I would want um, my kid reading that, especially at the age that I think this book was um, pushed on it. But just the survival stuff in this book is so good. Um, and you really feel for Brian and you root for him and you hope he could figure something out. And when he does, you're so proud of him. And it's just like that aspect of the book is really, really good. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that the rest of the books in this series, I mean, this book is so short, like you could read it in like, I don't know, like an hour or in an afternoon or something like that. Um, I read it while I was making dinner and um, finished reading it while I was eating dinner and then after I was done dinner. So maybe it's a little longer than a couple pages, but it's really, really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's not groundbreaking literature by any means it's a great just adventure survival story and every time it's paced very pulpy in the sense that every time like something's about to happen something else happens so like there's this situation where brian is about to um pick a bunch of berries he finds these berries and he eats one and he's like oh my gosh this is amazing and then he goes to pick another one and then he notices that there's a giant bear like an arm's length from him who also wants to eat the berries off that bush so it's like you're cheering that he just found stuff he could eat but then you're terrified because there's a bear right next to him and shit like that happens the entire story um, it's just, it's paced really well. Um, but yeah, the reason why I even found this book is because I've been watching, um, Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Um, I would maybe put something somewhere, but I probably won't. So just maybe I will. Okay. Um, he, um, does a lot of like just fun, like building, crafting, homestead, bushcraft, um, type videos. He's great. Um, he was on alone season three, um, on the history channel, if you know about that. And, um, he's just finishing up a 30 day survival challenge in Texas with, um, Chris from drop four survival. And then I think after that, um, they're putting the wilderness survival week he did or whatever with um, the wooded beardsman, which I've been following on that guy's channel. Anyway, so long story short, um, he was just talking about how he read that book when he was younger and really related to the kid and like was like, man, I totally could do that. And, whatever, and ended up learning a bunch of stuff. And um, it's funny, because like when I was reading it, I could totally picture little Zach Fowler doing all of those things. It, it just, it's, it's not a great chunk of literature. It's just fun. And there are some things in there that you should know about 
survival, if that's something you're interested in. And it's really short. Um, I think Zoe found um, paperback copies of it on Amazon for like three bucks. So there's that. Um, but yeah, so if you have read it, um, let me know down below. If you've read the books that follow, please let me know how those are. Because um, I really, really, really want to um, check those out. And I have to do it soon because something's going to happen soon. So we'll find out what that is later. Um, but anyway, so until next time, everybody, 